One of the things I might demonstrate for uh, students um, is to how to read the document visually. So not only to look at the caption and then think about the context and talk about uh, the politics of the moment, but also to really look at the visual. And I emphasized at the beginning of my description that this woman is very fashionably dressed. And what that should raise for students are questions of class and also questions of how women needed to portray themselves in public in order not to violate not only the traditional idea of they are the domestic managers, but also that they need to look attractive. So one of the other things that suffragists by the early 20th century um, figure out and manage to get a hold onto is that they're going to be much more publicly effective if they come across as appealing, attractive, fashionable, uh, rather than uh, militant in a specific way, meaning um, hostile to the, the, um, the role that women play as ornament. So you see the combining of, of these two things, that you can be a political person who seems to be stepping out of her sphere and not unattractive to men and not uncaring about one's appearance. And also that this is a, an issue that upper class women can grasp hold of and find an investment in, in addition to their philanthropy, in addition to their charity work, they can see uh, political participation as something that aids them in that because it's not, it is their home that's uh, at issue, but it's also poor women, immigrant women, women who have recently migrated to cities who live in tenement slums, whose water is uh, choleric, whose uh, unable, you know, whose garbage is right outside their door, uh, that, you know, homes where they don't have any control over the quality. So uh, I think that cartoon s says a lot, and you can talk to the students for a long time about all the different aspects of this.